Hello, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of February the 15th up until February the 22nd. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Hello, hello, my beautiful Leos. How have you guys been? Wow, let's see what exactly is going on here. Okay, pre-reading messages. Here we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So someone who was kind of weighing out the pros, the cons, the pluses, the minuses, trying to make a decision. It looks like they're finally ready to make it, okay? So it could possibly be you or your person. Let's see what exactly is going on here for Leos. What do we have for Leos this week? Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing all of these beautiful messages that Leo is here seeking to find this week. What do we have for a Leo? All right, always remember that energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember, this can be for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. Okay, See, Leos, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the, okay, so the page of wands in the reverse. So this person wants to communicate with you. I feel here that either you or them, somebody here wants to say something, but they don't know how to say it. They feel like they might be walking on eggshells or they kind of feel very, very nervous. So there's like this nervous energy that I'm picking up on. It's sort of like a person who kind of feels, um, butterflies in their tummy but they get so nervous once they're like you're in front of them or they're in front of you that they just don't know they don't even know what to say or they end up saying something else and they end up putting the, their foot in their mouth so somebody this week I feel will kind of try to tell you something and it may come across either in a weird way an awkward way maybe you might think to yourself what what does this person mean maybe you receive a text message okay but somebody here wants to communicate say something with you but they're gonna say it in a, again like a very awkward kind of way because this person does not know how you are going to take it okay so now let's go ahead and see what exactly is going on in your environment wow look at this so some of you guys might be dealing with any of the earth signs any of the air signs more air signs here what else do we have here any of the more earth wow okay a lot of earth i see fire as well money money finances coming your way stability coming your way as well water signs leo you are showing up here in your own reading so what i'm picking up on here is that somebody wants to communicate this week like i said and look at this here you know somebody wants to communicate because they want to make amends now if you kind of keep asking yourself leo why you cannot possibly detach from someone or somebody here can possibly let something or someone go it could possibly be career related family related friendship romantic related okay whatever the case may be but somebody here it's sort of like um if you keep asking yourself why you can't detach from this situation or this person on an on an emotional level it's because there is still some kind of unfinished business now i do see here that there's somebody here wanting to offer you commitment okay wanting to offer you love maybe live together come come and kind of like join them in their journey maybe they're traveling you know maybe this kind of like situation of you guys traveling together or going somewhere together might kind of like it's sort of like this person wants to create a scenario to make you and them come closer together does that make sense so whoever this person is it could possibly be somebody new doesn't have to be but here we have somebody that misses you okay there's somebody here who misses you a lot and there's this kind of a wish that they have, okay? They have this wish where they, they want to tell you how much you do mean to them. I do sense here that there is this kind of like energy where perhaps in the past they did get caught up in a moment. Maybe they kind of included some kind of third party situation or maybe they just kind of were distracted. Maybe they were distracted with work a lot. A lot of people place work on a very, very, you know, high pedestal where they end up neglecting their family or their loved ones. So there's this energy here where somebody wants to come in and finally do what they have been fearing to do. Okay. They want to face their denial and they want to tell you that you are the only one for them. The grass was definitely not greener on the other side. Okay. But let's go ahead and jump into your clarifiers. Let's see page of wands in the reverse. 
What is this page of wands in the reverse for my beautiful Leos? Wow, look at that. So somebody wants to make amends. Some of you guys might be dealing with a Sagittarius, I see here, but I do also feel like, you know what, somebody is ready. They're ready to take charge, but they don't know how to go about it. So there's this energy where they're trying to temper their own emotions. This could possibly be you, okay? But there's this energy where I'm picking up on two groups of you. There's one group of you who are trying to make something work. Somebody's trying to make something work with you. They're gonna try and bring up like a scenario, like I said, for you guys to come together, okay? But there's a, another part of you guys, you know, or a group of you guys where there's this energy where somebody here has blocked themselves off emotionally because you have been kind of like in this paradox where it has been unresolved for quite some time because you don't have the information that you need available to you. So this has not yet been resolved because you're still seeking for that information, okay? So this is just asking you to kind of like relax, relax, and I feel like there's this energy here where whoever has been blocked off emotionally, it's because somebody here is still attached to something from their past because the past is showing up here. Now, I also see a brand new energy wanting to offer you something brand new, but again, there's a, some there's kind of like this energy here that I'm picking up on where, you know, the reason why somebody here still feels an emotional attachment to someone who is emotionally or has been or had been emotionally unavailable is because this person still needs to see their worth, okay? It's sort of like you're asking yourself again, you know, why can I detach from this person who is showing me signs that they're not emotionally available? Well, that's because you still need to see your own worth. And when you start seeing your own worth, Leos, or maybe I'm talking to this other person, you will start seeing the reason why this person keeps backing off and away, okay, from you. Now, let's go ahead and see what my guides and angels have for you this week. What do my guides and angels have as divine guidance and angel messages for my beautiful Leo's gentleness? Yeah. So, you know, this is just telling you archangel and dolphin, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations and environments. I feel like this is unfinished business and it's unfolding in, in a way where it's sort of like, um, God source energy, the universe, your guides and your angels are taking care of this situation. Okay. Your person, I feel again, is going to come in with some kind of communication. It might come across as a little bit, like I said, awkward, but you know, it's, it's, it's good for you to listen to them. Now, let's go and see what else do we have here. Wow, look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's just asking you, you know, it's okay to be patient, Leos, for the love that you know that you deserve. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys are just not willing to settle. You're not willing to compromise very easily because of loneliness, because you guys are not feeling lonely right now. I feel like you guys, for those of you guys that are single, you're focusing a lot on self-care, okay, because you forgot about yourself in the past. So it's okay because you're, I feel like you're carefully monitoring your choices, you know, and I feel like you're also healing. Okay. So this innocence card is just telling you, you know, focus on yourself, focus on the innocent part of you on the innocent part of this situation and on the innocent part of this person that this person has played in your life. Because I feel like there is this energy where they were resisting this kind of change, but I feel that they are now feeling like this change is inevitable. Like it, it has been outgrown where to the point where it's kind of like leading them towards, towards you or uh, either back towards you if it's the past or just towards you if it's somebody brand new and to communicate with with you in some kind of um in some kind of way where it, it's like romantic I feel like they're they have passion for you like romantic feelings but they don't know how to show them okay all right my beautiful Leos this is what I have for you this week thank you so much for watching if you are interested in a personal reading please do check the description box below as I now have openings and follow my new Instagram page at Gina G Official as I will be posting more on there. I hope that you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, Without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.